start of the day two. Now we are going to rent a car. Well, the traffic is quite heavy. Be safe, don't cause an accident and stuff like this. So let's head out. So we managed to rent a car again. I didn't want to, for obvious reasons, I didn't want to make a video recording in the city because, well, I mean, the traffic was a bit, well, interesting. We have got very nice views in front of us. I had to hide over here from the wind because well, the wind is quite strong so you can actually hear me allegedly this is like the biggest lake in Caucasus region down from the monastery we bought these handmade you know souvenirs i think it's always nice to support the local economy or stuff like this local people okay let's get moving this is where we are right now and we're going to a different place we will find out where keep watching so like the road quality over here Sometimes it's great, but sometimes, as you probably saw, not really, not really great. <laughs> no markings, I don't know how... Okay, we've got some markings, one line, that's it. The car insurance company told us that like we shouldn't do off-road, and I don't know if this qualifies as off-road or if this is normal. <laughs> this is the countryside. We stopped here to have a view like this. So that's our car, by the way. I don't know if you have seen that. But this is countryside. The road quality is definitely very poor in like areas around Yerevan. Sometimes you have to go like 30 km per hour and there's like 70 km per hour speed limit, but the most you can do like 30 or 40 before you break your car. This is our second destination. How, how is it called? Gegard Monastery. Gegard Monastery. It's much closer to Yerevan than the lake. So far, the parking costs 200 drums everywhere. This is how the Armenian money looks like. By the way, we've got a 10,000 nomination. Also 20,000 and 50,000, I think. So, looks cool.
people actually put money over here. Maybe it has some significance. I think like this structure is like carved into a mountain, into a you know, uh, into a hill. So must have taken so long. It's like, it gives me kind of like Indiana Jones vibes from this. Now we're ascending, I don't know where exactly, but maybe we'll get somewhere. I think it's possible to go even higher, but like, you know, and I don't know whether it's worth it actually right now. But I would say this is fine as well. I mean, I get a very nice view. Not too far from the monastery, there is this very interesting looking rocks. The entrance fee over here was also 200 drums, which is again like 50 cents. This is how these rocks look like the closer up. This is like a short stop while going to the third destination which is going to be a very nice view, hopefully a very nice view of the mountains This looks like a light version of Pantheon in Rome which is like right over here and we're going over here somewhere in a couple of minutes So yeah, we got we get these kind of views during our route there. I mean, look at this. That's our car, by the way. The best thing about this probably is just it's so quiet everywhere. Nobody's here. Literally, the road was empty, apart from like you know two or three cars. Okay, we've gotten to the edge. So. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. I mean this is this is basically the road we, we took. We just were over there. And we just went like over there, like this, and boom we are here. This view is just I would say amazing. Look at this. However, so I don't think it's like perfect. I mean this is the sad part of this. So much trash over here, unfortunately. But the views are amazing, however, the trash kind of, you know, ruins it. We parked over here. We had to, you know, walk this distance. So much parking space over here, as you can see. This is the last destination of our, like, small road trip near the Turkish borders. This is called Koru Virap and we are going there.
There are again some steps. This mountain once belonged to Armenian people, to Armenia, but right now it's part of Turkey. Yeah. So this is probably the last stop. Maybe the best viewing place for the mountains. I don't know if you can hear that, but like there's a music, a traditional music playing in the background. That was fun, I mean, we've seen a lot of places, hopefully you enjoyed and don't forget to also watch the Yerevan and kind of exploration without the car. Perfect, so the car has actually been parked where we picked it from. In the city center the traffic was just horrendous, it was atrocious, the worst and so was the availability of free parking spots but then I texted the company whether I could actually park it over here where I picked it from, they said yes, so that was great. So let's lock it. Locked, and now we can freely go. And also, tomorrow at 10, we just give the key back. So perfect, and see ya.